Number three greatest hands of all time, Steve Largent. When people talk about the great receivers in football, they don't mention Largent to me nearly often enough. Largent's got it, touchdown Seahawks. He got open, he caught the football, he scored touchdowns. The end zone to Largent, touchdown Seahawks! He made first downs. I mean, you really saw the ball hit the turf. I think his best asset is he understands the game, and that helps me out a lot because he makes adjustments being as smart as he is. Don't take that to your head, son. Right, Jimmy, you forgot to tell him about my hands. And he's got great hands. <laughs> At number three on our countdown, Steve Largent's hands were good enough for a Hall of Fame career. But if this list was based on appearance, you'd think he'd be better at filing tax returns than catching post patterns. The thing that I always noticed about him was how open he got. Largent wide open at the 10, he's got it! Touchdown Seahawks! How did Steve Largent get so wide open? He doesn't look real fast. Like one of the smallest guys on the field. How does this guy always get open? And how is he always catching the ball over somebody that's bigger than him? The end zone, touchdown, Seahawks to Largent. I don't think he could outrun me, and I can't run very fast. But the thing is, he'll run a slant pattern. He'll run it four different ways. He could set up guys and just humiliate them. Close to him in the corner of the end zone, touchdown, Seahawks. I mean, he embarrassed people with his route running. Your ability to be a great athlete and your ability to be a football player are two different things. And I, I think he was a tremendous football player. For large, and he's in the clear. He makes the grab. Touchdown, Seahawks! I'm not a great athlete, but I think I'm a good football player. I've played for a long time, and I know a lot about the game. And because I've been around for a long time now, you know, my football instincts are pretty good. They would always say that the one thing that Largent can do well is catch the ball. I may not have been the fastest guy, run deep routes or anything like that, but I would catch the ball if it was thrown near me. It's easy to appreciate Largent's talents in retrospect, but in 1976, the Houston Oilers drafted Largent in the fourth round, where he was soon traded to Seattle for an eighth round pick. You talk to anybody associated with the Houston Oilers at that time, and they'll probably admit that's the greatest mistake they ever made. And he comes to Seattle, and he's not real big, and he's not real fast. And if you were watching them practice that first day, you would not pick him out of the line to even make the team, let alone become the receiver he was. But by the time he retired, he had caught more passes than any receiver in the history of this league. Free throw short. He's got a reception by Largent, who makes the catch, and now becomes the just career catches, career yards, touchdown catches, all that kind of stuff. I mean, he had that long streak of consecutive receptions. Um, there, you know, it goes into the most seasons with 50 catches and, and all that kind of stuff. Pump it, now let's throw to the end zone. There it is. The touchdown Seahawks, number 100. Largent played his entire career with the Seahawks. So while he's number three on our countdown, he'll always be number one in Seattle. And he made plays for the Seahawks for so long. He makes the grand touchdown, Seahawks! They've never had a receiver like him, and I don't know if they ever will have another receiver like a Steve Larger. Has it! Touchdown, Seahawks! Any list of great receivers you put together, regardless of era, should have Steve Largent on it. Coming up, who owns the top two spots on our list of the greatest hands in 